Rubbish isn't very attractive visually. Was that a problem for you as a filmmaker? Uh, yes and no. Um, strangely enough, obviously, I had a wonderful um, DOP, Director of Photography, so um, he can pretty much make anything look beautiful, I think. But um, I wanted to choose, as, I, as I've said earlier, um, you know, I did a lot of research, and so sadly these things were repeatable and, and in every country around the world. So I wanted to choose um, beautiful places wherever possible. Um, that have been ruined, unfortunately, by uh, man-made rubbish. So um, the ancient port of Sida in Lebanon, um, the fact that, you know, you've got this huge mountain of waste, which was formerly a flat, sandy beach. What was a sandy beach has been replaced by a trash mountain. Well over 40 metres in height. Documentaries about how we're destroying the planet can be very depressing. Was that also a challenge for you? A huge challenge, yes. Um, I would have preferred to make a much more cheerful um, documentary than um, I think Trash is. I think it has got hope. Um, I think because we, we were very much aware that we wanted to offer solutions at the end of it. But you are, um, the subject is not a cheerful subject. Um, I could have gone further, I think, with it, but I didn't want to because actually, you know, you, you could sort of end up feeling like you just want to go and shoot yourself, which is not <laughs> what I wanted. I wanted to feel that, you know, people feel that they can so make a difference to this topic. In the, world's water. in the film, you focus on air pollution, land pollution and water pollution. Which do you think is the most worrying? Um, if I had to pick one, um, which I would be reluctant to do, uh, it would be water, without a doubt. I think that what has happened to all of the oceans and beaches actually as well um, <clears throat> in the world in the last 30 years is astonishing in the scale and the speed. Um, you know, there are certain places in the world that, you know, you have to dig down on a beach um, over a foot before you will find sand that doesn't have plastic in it. Unfortunately, what's happened with the way that soft plastic degrades in water is that um, the pieces become so fragmented that they're the same size as the zooplankton, um, which obviously is in the food chain.